everybody thanks a lot for joining me this video is a viewer request thank you so much I have it down as Mary Kate in my phone who asked for this video um, I had talked about in some other video I had done how sometimes I really enjoy those understated blushes typically what happens is I see a lineup of blushes and there's like a bright coral or a bright pink and I'm like oh give me that one you know like that's the one that really catches my eye that I think is going to be pretty on the cheeks but then there are some more understated blushes where they might not capture your attention as much at first or maybe they just don't look that fabulous in the packaging but they kind of surprise you once you put them on your cheeks and they actually look beautiful not just with one particular look here or there but usually a ton of different looks because they're so neutral. But blushes can be tricky that way because more often than not you're going to wear them very sheared out so they're going to look probably quite a bit different than they appear in the pan in the actual product and like I said these kinds of blushes they are so neutral and easy to wear they can look good with anything from a coral lip to a red lip, a hot pink lip, or you can do like I do today and be absolute dusty rose in every sense of the word in every part of your look. I was just feeling like it today. Um, the first one I want to mention, the first blush, um, it's been around for a while. I've enjoyed it for quite some time, but it definitely wasn't a blush where I just first laid eyes on it and thought, oh, that's going to be gorgeous. I really didn't know until I started using it, and it's Benefits Dallas, and this is actually described as a dusty sunset plum powder and honestly to look at it in the compact you think eh, I don't know even in a swatch here on my finger you know it's neutral there's maybe a hint of some pinky plummy tone in that what's it gonna look like on the cheeks and I am wearing it today I actually contoured my cheekbones a little bit and then I just kind of put this over and slightly above the contour so probably right here in this general zone and I think it looks really pretty in that area it's a nice way to add a little dimension to your blush this is the deepest one that I'll be mentioning and it really just is kind of hard to define but I can totally see why they put plum in the description because it's not like a classic dark berry wine type plum by any means but it just has that little bit of depth that I think is very neutral very pretty you can wear it just on its own as a blush I mean I've worn it that way plenty of times it's also nice as a little bit of an eyeshadow today I wore it a little bit up in here as I was blending out the look and I just really like it the other blush that I'm wearing today that's giving me kind of a glow look. I'm not wearing any highlight. It's just Dallas and then this. Um, this is from Wet n Wild. It's one of the new Fergie blushes and this particular one is called uh, Brush with Destiny and it's definitely one you might lay your eyes on and think, is that gonna do anything? I mean come on now. And when you see it here up close you can see a little bit of that sparkle but to me I'm so skeptical of really light blushes that have some shimmer. I think is it just gonna turn out to look like a highlight? It's a soft kind of peachy shimmer. It actually actually does show up on the cheeks and I think it gives a beautiful glow. I mean it really brought in some color more than I was expecting. So if you like the really soft peachy blushes, a little bit of glow, this doesn't necessarily look like it would do much but it definitely performed better on my cheeks than it even looked in a swatch or looked in the pan. So now if you're thinking I like that tone but not so much the shimmer, try the NYX blush in Soft Spoken. Another one that I look at and I'm like I don't know, uh, this isn't really my bag of tricks. But I had recently talked about this one. I actually talked about eight different uh, NYX HD blushes in my review over on the Express channel. And this one really surprised me. I think it looks so beautiful on the cheeks. I think you kind of got to have the right skin tone to pull this off. It would look really beautiful on, I think, fair and light skin, light medium skin. But it's such an innocent, light, slightly peachy look. Very fresh, really appropriate for spring. Now, this was the blush that inspired the whole video. This is my Milani blush in Romantic rose. I love this blush. This one, I think, you know, that whole rose design does look beautiful, but the other two blushes that were part of this collection, one was like a brighter pink and one was a coral. And of the three, this one might kind of take a back seat because you're like, oh, is, is it kind of just dull? But I promise you, this is a soft rose shade. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the depth of Dallas, but more on the pinky side. It's matte. It's the kind of blush I feel like I could wear with anything. And then finally, this is one of those hidden gems of the drugstore products that's been out in stores like forever but it's one of the covergirl classic color blushes and the shade is soft mink it's the kind that has the mirror in it and it's this rectangular shape beware it has a little noxzema scent to it we're talking old school covergirl here folks and this is kind of a glowy blush it has a little bit of shimmer it is coming off actually i think the camera's 
pulling a little bit more of a pink tone out of this, but this is very neutral. But this is the epitome of neutral, shimmery, dusty rose. Here's a swatch of it right there. Just to give you some comparison, this is Milani's Romantic Rose swatched right there. And see how there's a little more warmth? There's like a, a hair more of a golden twist on this color, but I still find it to be very neutral. And it's so pretty on the cheeks. It's not like sparkle shimmer, but it does have just that little twist to it, where it really can catch the light, even minus a highlight, it can look so good just on its own. So those are my five understated blush picks, the blushes that you might overlook, especially if you tend to grab for those bright pinks and bright peach blushes. Again, the deepest one I mentioned, Benefit Dallas, a deeper kind of pink dusty rose with the Milani. A couple of softer peachy options, one with shimmer, one without. And then this really great little bit warmer shade that would look great on a tan, that soft mink color. So thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. Thank you again to Mary Kate for uh, requesting it and I will see you guys later. Bye.